Walking through the school, you can see into the teaching spaces, you can see classes being taught, you can see people frantically making models. It's a really lively atmosphere. My name's Alicia Bennett. I was a PhD candidate at Monash University's Department of Architecture, and I studied a PhD which is called Stealth Urbanism. What the government in Hobart was trying to do was to increase development in and around the services. As part of my research, I was hoping to find ways that we could facilitate development, particularly the idea of density. It's a word that people have negative associations with, but I think people see apartment blocks and they associate that with higher density, but actually, Suburban houses, if they're designed in a particular way, can also accommodate those government objectives as well. My research was a little bit different to other types of PhD research. So we have a PhD defence, which is where we present our ideas to the public. The second part is an exhibition where, again, we present aspects of the project. My exhibition I chose to present as a series of models. Plans are quite hard to actually understand if you're not familiar with them, whereas a model is just like a small version of a house and so that in itself can be quite easy to get your head around by seeing a car and the trees and there's something about the scale of it you can understand quite easily. With architecture being embedded into MARTA, we have access to all of the ceramics department, the wet and dry workshops, we have laser cutters, 3D printers, routers all the machinery that means that we can communicate and present our ideas in a quite realistic way. It's quite hard for architects to be able to express themselves in a written way, so a great deal of the program is to help creatives with their writing development skills, and that's through programs such as the Thesis Bootcamp, but there's really structured seminars that we can participate in that will help develop academic writing skills. So I chose to study at Monash Art Design and Architecture because of the research team that was in the architecture department. There's a really good research team here called the Monash Architecture Studio and they have a really good reputation in the housing and urban sector and it was there that I decided I wanted to study. What's quite interesting about the PhD program here is that we have allocated one-on-one -on -one supervision but it's a group supervision team and so we'd have the whole team of supervisors giving feedback as well as the other candidates as well. It's a nice collegial feel amongst the candidates. Monash is very different to the other universities in Melbourne. We're our own little unit and a lot of the time people will come here and work for the day and the same people here every day and there's a, there's a real community atmosphere that happens on this campus which is really great to be part of. I had a really good experience doing a PhD here at Monash and I'd highly recommend it to anyone that wants to explore ideas in a very supportive environment.